Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing out what I've bought within pretty much the past month, mostly in the last like two weeks because of this whole COVID-19 thing and I got a job recently, so I actually have money. Not that I didn't have money before, but now I have money that I didn't have before that I can spend on things that I want slash need kind of <laughs> i haven't posted in a hot minute it's been about a month and a half while i'm filming this two videos ago i talked about how i'm kind of trying to go lower waste most of these things are for that when i got a job i was like wow i could actually buy the things that i've been wanting to get to become more low waste i have my decaf coffee we're gonna just get started i'm gonna put it all out because i have it all in the shop and so bad there's some random things there's things that i've actually needed the thing with zero waste is you don't buy it until you need it a few of these things i was just waiting out until I ran out of certain things. First, I'm going to start with the things that are zero waste. One of the first things that I wanted to switch over to because I was about to run out of my shampoo and conditioner is a shampoo and conditioner bar. I ended up going with the Ethique Damage Control shampoo bar for normal to dry hair and then the Ethi 2 delicious super hydrating solid conditioner no one's ever really shown this but the conditioner bar is smaller than the shampoo bar i have them right here the shampoo bar smells like mint but it smells really good and refreshing you can't really smell it in your hair afterwards and the conditioner bar just kind of smells like nothing i've used the shampoo bar four or five times i've only used the conditioner bar once because i'm still trying to get through my conditioner it was okay like it's obviously something to get used to i've pretty much gotten used to the shampoo bar right now you just like wet your head and then rub it around and it gets all sudsy and I just make sure to really work it in my scalp just because a lot of people said they've had to like detox with an apple cider vinegar rinse just to like get their dry itchy scalp so I just thought maybe if I scrubbed my scalp a little more that I wouldn't have to do that and I haven't had like any problems with my scalp so and right now I just have it in this soap holder that we had at my house not the cutest thing I really want to order the containers that Ethique cells and it's like a, a closed in container that fits them exactly and then the bottom is like bars so that like the wetness can like see through that was really weird wording so that I can travel with it a lot easier this is what we're working with right now and I also wanted to try the Ethique butter block and then just the regular like bar soap so those are two other things I want to try those are my shampoo and conditioner bars but I enjoy it pretty well. I really feel like Ethique is a good place to start. They have so many different types of shampoo bars and conditioner bars for a lot of different hair types. So yeah. And the next thing is this last swab. A lot of people think I'm crazy because it's like a reusable cotton swab. I had seen this some places, but I was like, nah. This was on package free, which is where I got a few of my other things. That's what it looks like. It's like ribbed and there's this one and then there's a beauty swab, which is like just, I think it's just like a normal Q-tip. Maybe it's pointed, but I liked this one because then it can really grip all the nastiness out of your ears. I'm someone who has to like clean out my ears because it's not like fabric. It doesn't absorb like the water out of your ears, but it does get like the wax out. I feel like normal me would be like not okay with that because I still don't like my ears being wet, but I've just been using like a towel or something because I haven't touched a Q-tip since I have gotten this. I just rinse it with water and then clean it with my towel. I like it and I there's like a bunch of different colors. I just got the gray one because I love gray. And it has this like cool case and like I don't know this is just like so much easier anyways when you travel like you just have to bring this one you don't have to bring like 20 different cotton swabs like i don't know it's just so cool i got that from package free and then i got this from package free which is actually a boba tea straw and it's like super thick if you can see that i've been using this for my smoothies and i've been enjoying my smoothies so much better i really like this it was five dollars and this other thing i got from package free is this meow meow tweet repair balm i'll know that i used to love aquaphor and it's not a lip balm so i feel like things that are more general are always a lot more moisturizing and this is in a cardboard packaging if you can't tell and you like push up at the bottom right here i like it a lot the first few times it was a little bit of getting used to just because now i don't really notice it but like the first few days it really just tastes and smells like bug spray i still smell it but like it doesn't bother me anymore so if you think it's really gonna bother you then i guess i wouldn't try it but if you think you can get used to it i i would try it because no one even mentioned the smell or the taste so i'm guessing it's because they got used to it it just has a bunch of good ingredients in it and then it's in a biodegradable package i think you could probably compost this too also this is like super random but it's just the simple modern chug lid i've had this water bottle for almost a year it's this lid right here just because i had the straw one there was just a rubber piece that came out so it leaks and like i can't take it like in a backpack anywhere because i know that it's gonna like spill everywhere and i can't like throw it in my car because it will roll around and leak everywhere i was just tired of that and then i was like should i get a hydro flask or should i just buy a new lid and then i ended up finding a coupon code where you 
you can get the lid for free so i just paid like four dollars for shipping and then i was like if i end up getting a hydro flask at least i'll have like a second water bottle that won't be annoying you know i'll have two water bottle choices i bet in college i'm not gonna have glasses i'm just gonna have these and then water bottles speaking of these these are just like thermoses and they're from academy sports they have like the m for magellan on top i think they're cute and cool these were both like ten dollars that's like a really good deal and this keeps my drinks hot this is pretty much the one i use for my hot drinks just because this is like the size that i would get for my hot drinks this is what i use for like my smoothies i work at smoothie king now i was bringing home a lot of smoothies i'd use like three plastic cups in a row and this is a 20 ounce and I was like, oh my goodness. So then I just ended up getting smoothies in this. Think of how many plastic cups I've already saved and will save in the future. And I know I can use these at Starbucks once this whole like virus passes. They're so much cheaper than Yetis. I really don't know why people will spend so much money on a Yeti. If I'm having like a hot drink in my house, I just always have it in this because I know that I'm not going to drink it fast enough before it goes cold. I bought this in store. It wasn't online, but that's because that was before this whole thing broke out. I just thought I would mention it because I've really been liking those. But I'm excited to use them like once coffee shops will allow you to use them. Again, let's talk about my Shop Miss A stuff. This is like self-care stuff from Shop Miss A. I've never gotten stuff like this from them before um from anywhere really i'll first mention this this is just like a little bag that will clip on anything it's just really tiny and folds up into this tiny little thing i'm just gonna keep this in my purse i got two of them but i think i'm gonna give like the other one to someone it's not a very big bag if you got a few little things you won't have to use a plastic one maybe if people don't know what miss a is then it's like i'm miss a because like my name is Allie. then i got two of their they're like super tiny this is an essential oil from tj maxx here's the size of this this is 10 mil and this is five mil not too much of a difference i only have one peppermint and i love peppermint for like road trips or planes or whatever because if i get nauseous then i just use this so i feel like this is gonna be really good it can be with me at all times and then i got eucalyptus because i've never had this before someone said it kind of smelled like vicks vapor rub which it kind of does but like a lot less artificial i guess and then i got a bath bomb which i've never bought really from anywhere and i got zen out which is just lavender i'm excited to do like an actual bath like i've never done that before i got a shower steamer so i thought that'd be cool to try out and i got the eucalyptus mint then I got three bubble bars just because I feel like that's what is the best. Like a lot of people were saying that these were the best thing. I've never used bubble bars or bath bombs from Lush or anywhere else. I'm guessing that they're pretty similar, but this one just does it on its own. And this one you have to crumble under the bath. I got coconut milk lavender just because I love lavender. And then I got rose because I like rose. <laughs> and I got mango. I'm going to at least cut these in half, if not into fourths. There's my little shot to say selfie hair haul if you want to see like a little budget friendly like self-care night or something i've literally never taken like a bath with a bath bomb or like bubble bars before i'm just lame and i've always taken showers and i've never had like just like a calm like chill night i have quite a bit of empties so i'll probably be doing an empties video soon i was going to film a video this morning as well i wanted to try matcha for the first time but i got to starbucks and they were closed i didn't expect starbucks to be closed like you would think that starbucks would be like the last place to be closed maybe that's just me but i was shocked shocked i tell you shocked Oh, I also have some David's Tea coming in. I had never really heard of them. I was just trying to look up loose leaf tea brands just because I'm trying to like get away from the whole bag tea. That's pretty much all I've purchased recently. Pretty much all online as well. Just because what else are we going to do during this time? I do want to make sure like all of my purchases were like well thought out. And it wasn't just like bored buying because I'm really trying not to do that anymore. I'm not really checking like new things anymore i know like this is the time where i feel like a lot of youtubers are pumping out content but like i really can't because i don't know what to film please just let me know what you want to see down below help a girl out what are you doing during this quarantine time have you been online shopping responsibly <laughs> So yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribed down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Let me know down below what you've bought recently, what you've been doing in the house, what you wanna see on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.